What is up guys, it's Soul Bash, and we are back playing Tai Chi Panda Heroes. Now this is just after the prologue, so we're going to continue on doing our quest and see exactly what we're going to end up getting into. Now we got to go back over to the lady right over here, and then we should be able to explore a little bit more. Wait here, I'm going to go get some herbs for you. Okay, so we got to go collect the herbs for this lady. Thank you, you probably find some herbs in the tribal lands. That's where I'm headed. Tribal Lands is the very first place where you're going to find open world in Tai Chi Panda Heroes. Now we get a free chest. This is just the regular chest, not the gold chest. And we got a Berserker Blade. Cool. Gonna go back and let's see if it'll let us equip this. Yes, let's fortify the weapon. Yes, we get to upgrade it. Sort everything out. There is the item right there. It is a physical attack weapon. Quality 15 purple. The qualities in this game are a little different as well. Um, quick fortification. Fortification is the same. You can only fortify a piece of equipment twice your level. So I'm level 4 currently. And of course we're going to refine it. Now let's get back. And because I do, I really want to get into this. But, oh, okay. Well, we're going to do the market first. I'm going to add equipment. You can smell useless items. Okay, we got green, blue, purple, and orange. Okay. And for green, you get, okay, gold. So this is a bit different uh, in the market. Uh, I'm assuming, hopefully, that some of the higher ones will be better. And, of course, we all know about reforging. You can reforge. It takes fortifications and refinements off of your gear, and you get that stuff back. But it's going to cost you some diamonds. All right. Collect herbs. All right. This is where we're going. Now, if you remember in the last video, the overview when Ice Phoenix flew out, told you at the very southeast part of the map this is where the open world is at this is where you're going to first explore the open world in Tai Chi Panda Heroes now, this is really cool right here at the beginning you got a little safe area and once you go out you have left the safe area and you're vulnerable to be attacked by uh, enemies which are of course they're going to be PvE enemies in here uh, you can duel out here as well a little bit of testing with that with Mogadi the other night uh, so we'll probably end up doing a little bit of stuff uh, in the future on this game We just kind of want to get the feel for it ourselves before we actually get together and start talking about it together on videos With team level up up to five so these quests do help you level up pretty quick guys So I do recommend you do these and not just try to run straight through whatever um, Okay, so we got to kill some tic-tac warriors tic-tac warriors. I still find that pretty funny and up here path one Okay, this is two different paths. These are the same place, Tribal Plains, but it's basically two different instances of open world places. So if too many people are farming something over here, just go to the other one. And at the very beginning when this game is globally released, I'm pretty sure this place is going to be packed. So if you've got too many people out there, just go up there and click that on path one and you can change over. You can't do it in combat and you can only change paths like once every like two minutes. So you can't really jump back and forth real quick. All right, and the auto pathfinding thing, it works fairly well here. It'll take you right to your next NPC that you need to go to. Oh, please tell me generally that you took care of the problem. Good job. It was nothing, really, it, it was nothing. I mean, it, it'll take a couple minutes, not even that really. All right, gonna go back to him. I trust you were victorious. Obviously I'm back. Hopefully there won't be any more raids. Nah, uh, we'll take care of it. Unfortunately, the tribal leader Titus is still at large. Our army would be greatly indebted to you if you would put his tyrant's reign to an end. Roger that. Alright, everybody remembers Titus from Tai Chi Panda 1. Obviously, I hope you do, because that dude fought him quite a bit. And oddly, Titus is just right here, right up above where this guy's at. He's fairly big. Uh, but he's not too hard to take down. He's not like some of the other guys in here that you can only do a certain amount of damage to. He goes down pretty quick for your level. I'm level 5. Just about finished off and that right there kills him. That's all we needed to do up here. Go ahead and take this guy out. And you see I'm getting team experience while I'm doing this. Team experience times 2. Team experience times 2. You do get experience out here in the open world, but there is a limit on it. I don't know what the limit is yet. I was talking with the operations manager last night, or community manager, and he actually didn't know there was a limit to it. So 
we're gonna do some more testing and see exactly you know how long I could actually stay out here and farm if I wanted to because you do get gold uh, sometimes you get small experience potions uh, I'll show you what those do specifically in a later video and it's just there's so much to it we just got to get down to find out what exactly is going to limit us on it so I did it for about three to four hours and I mean you can obviously just park yourself somewhere where enemies are at and turn on auto attack and it's going to continue attacking until you either kill them or you die so let's go back over here finish this quest in Titus is dead we actually killed him twice so he's double dead you don't owe me anything it was my duty it was my duty alright let's try returning to the city you can click on the map right here and you can go to return city and like she says right here you can only do this every 15 minutes so you can go out here and do your quests and whatnot and if you need to go back to the city real quick bam instant teleportation right back to it you can do it every 15 minutes how cool is that all right let's continue on you gotta speak with Shu the Tinkerer and that's all the way up here and I believe this is up here by where the auction house thing is at. I haven't, I have not got to the auction house thing yet, but I do know there it is in the game. So, all right, here we go. Check out these tingleberries I picked. Mmm, tingleberries. These are for source medicine I trust. Give me a second I'm to make one of my famous remedies. This is the medicine you are looking for. It ought to heal Sora's injuries very quickly. I'll deliver this to her straight away. All right, so Sora is the chick that healed me and hurt herself oddly in the last video I don't know how she hurt herself just by throwing out a hill but we got to take some medicine back to her La -de -da -da -da. this map's pretty huge this does take quite a while to get across all right sorry it took so long I took a shorter detour let's try this medicine the injury is partly healed but I'm still in a lot of pain ah boohoo get over it the bleeding has stopped though I'll be okay for now. Mayor Laszlo has some urgent business. He the leader of the Wulin Alliance. Okay, you're bleeding. The, there's no blood on the ground. What? How is she bleeding still? Alright, let's go talk to the mayor. The mayor is the pimp that came in and saved us from uh, Dark Animus when he tried to reanimate itself. Check. Okay. For completing chapters. Oh, we got a reward. Cool. This is Demon Iron Quality 15 Magic Weapon. Okay, cool. Uh, we have a magic character, so we should be able to put that on him. Uh, we will be getting soon. As you can see, it's magic, which it cannot be equipped by me with, on the panda because I'm using a physical weapon. Uh, the panda uses physical stuff, and certain characters use magical stuff. So that is a bit of a difference of like gear in this game. Uh, it's a little different as far as that. Quality wise as well, the green, blue, purple, uh, gold, and orange. Uh, I've actually gotten so far in the game past this that I do have a piece of legendary, actually a couple already. So it's pretty unique at how they scale those. Uh, and let's go ahead and look at the skills on the panda. It causes levitation to targets and knocks them away in the end. Uh, deals 787 physical damage. Not bad. I mean, it's only what, level 1? Okay, Vengeful Staff deals damage to targets and knocks them down. Using main attacks on targets triggers decapitation every 18 seconds. Effects of Phase 1 deals 500 physical damage. So, these skills are very elaborate and they you need to use them in certain orders for them to work efficiently. Deals damage to targets and knocks them back. Buffs player with super armor increases physical resistance rate by 70% for 10 seconds. That's huge! So bamboo spin is what you're going to want to roll in with if you're using the panda. It's going to decrease the damage that you take. Okay, let's get this sign-in reward. Obviously, this is the very first day that I did play it. I recorded this. All right, let's go in here, see what we got. Privileges. Um, not really sure. Okay, this is going to be to do with the VIP. Of course, everything is going to be wiped on the beta server, so I'm not going to go any. Uh, through here and do anything but take a look at the diamonds you get you get 2,000 you get two different types of diamonds okay the top ups 
beside the top ups you saw were just regular diamonds and then they have a also another diamond called bound diamonds they're bound to your account those are ones which you cannot trade so monetization is going to be a bit different here because there is a trade market in this game uh, it's already in it when the game is going to be released so it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out all right let's go over here and talk to mayor laszlo laszlo what up all right we thought we killed maguna but the maguna turned out to be a fake now we need to figure out where the real maguna is and what the demon army plans are with the hordes of demons and tribal enemies invaded our lands, I feel like the bat real battle is going to start soon. I'm here to help. Okay. Yeah, my name's not fixed yet. It's just number one. I had trouble naming myself at the beginning. I don't know why, uh, but I did fix it. I had to spend 200 diamonds to do it. But that's okay. Got my name changed. Uh, team level up six. And let's go back and speak to uh, Z Sora, which is the bleeding lady that's standing there with no blood under her somehow all right i think i have the lead on the demon's army location what do you do let's get a move on then no it's too much dang it's much too dangerous for you you should stay here where it's safe okay i don't understand my battle skills nevertheless you may be right i'll stay across one peak and assist from here any way that i can okay you just stand there and bleed hey i'll be okay gift packs cool uh, level six to get back. Okay, got something for level up to six. And okay, you're not gonna let me get into anything else. So, all right, you want me to go here? And here we are. We are about to summon our first hero. This is Rathas, three-star magical guy. He's ranged. He has some pretty cool attacks, and he's pretty powerful. Um, can only have one team right now once you get leveled up to I believe it's 15 you can add another one and then 23 I think you get the other two for the other teams for your heroes so it's real interesting uh, let's check out his attributes to get him called up this is where the experience potions that you heard me talking about earlier you can actually use potions to level your characters up your heroes up and catch them up to your actual team level uh, so let's go ahead and unlock his skills and we'll check his skills out at a later time because they're making me go through the tutorial still and check this out you can actually change your main hero into any hero in the game this is why it's called Tai Chi Panda Heroes look at this I am a completely different character now this is awesome very unique for the game I love this option and attributes uh hey we have this staff it's magical and it does work for him so cool we've got an awesome staff on a new character let's go in here quick fortify and fortify up to level 12 now because we're level six and refinement yeah let's go ahead and refine this up uh at least once uh, it's gonna add some pretty good things to it and it's cool I like how they leave the base stats where you can look at it and then it just adds the extras on top of it now getting back into the events that would let me get into a while ago server pack claim one day login it's still day one that this was done and of course they have the 30 day logins as well uh, so we're gonna collect that check in got some diamonds and some uh, fortitude and constitution gonna get some more constitution and we have a timed event here going on as well so for day one we're getting this okay and online prize for obviously the longer you play they're gonna give you rewards so we're gonna collect these and um, I'll save these things up and open them up more or less kind of at one time so we can see what all of them give and kind of go through what they go, uh, hand out in those chests so it's going to be pretty cool to look at when we get to them. And let's see. I believe that is going to be it for this video, guys. We'll start on Chapter 1 in the next episode. I want to thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Soulbash. You guys have a nice day.